Oh, the mics are on. Mics are on. Mics are on. But the camera's locked. Camera's locked. Are you kidding me? Oh, my gracious, guys. We have been having some technical issues today. Let me see if we can do something about that. No? There it is. Oh, That yeah. is the weirdest thing ever. That is we have been having one. some odd technical things behind the scenes, guys. So mm -hmm. hopefully we can continue on. Uh, hey, everybody, I'm Brad. And I'm Krista. With the Big Family Homestead. Yay! Yay! The crowd goes wild. And um, yeah. The crowd is wild. The crowd, you guys. Are wild. Are wild <laughs> men and women. So today, uh, like, like I said, we've been having some real hiccups here. So hopefully we got it sounding and looking somewhat good yes because we've got a different camera for out front there mm -hmm. and um, this camera is not as good as I want it to be yet but It's messing up today. We're going to have to try to wing it, guys. We're going to um, wing it. We'll just have to show as yeah. we go. Well, and, it'll um, be hard to lift this up, but it's okay. I'll do my best. Yeah. So we're having some technical issues. So hopefully, yeah, we lost the sound. Um, working on it. Okay. Yeah. So you are going to be making some cheesy, cheesy sausage. Cheesy sausage biscuits. Well, and a homemade bisquick mix. I got this recipe from a very good friend of ours She's who here. is watching, Lisa, thank you. Um, she is an amazing cook. Uh, she actually made this apron for me too. Um, so I started, she gave me this recipe and I started making it for the family and they devour them. It make, this recipe makes 24 muffins. They're gone. They're biscuits, they're, really, Well, they're, yeah, they're muffins, uh, biscuits. Yeah. They're, you know, they're regular. Muffin tin size, about, you know, yay big, but they're gone. The kids and Brad and I eat them all. Eat them, eat them. Yes, you will. Right. Eat them more, and then you'll be filled. Right. I mean, sometimes there will be a few left, and those will go in the refrigerator, and the kids actually hide them for the next day. They'll heat pillows, them up in the microwave. <laughs> they hide them in the refrigerator. <laughs> so you find them in the laundry. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> no. If I found them in the laundry, I think I, oh, never mind. I'd lose it. I'd yeah. lose it. Anyway. So anyway, we're going to plug on. I'm going to, if, if the sound goes out, I'm going to yeah. try to get back to the other camera mm -hmm. and futz with it. You're right. So if it's, if the sound's gone, mm -hmm. I'll, I'm, I'm working on it. Just right. bear with us, okay? Right. Uh, Tina is asking if this recipe is in the cookbook. It actually is not in the cookbook. We're working on a. We are working on a two point amendment. Yes. Yep, and then it will be. Right. So, with Lisa's permission, of course. Okay. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, we tweaked it. Right. So, but now you got to start out with making the mix first, like the bisquick instant kind of mix. But it's not. It's a, not in a box. You just you make right. It. You know how you can find the bisquick, the name brand bisquick mix. Um, well, this is a. A homemade version uh, which has all natural ingredients actually only has four ingredients it's flour baking powder salt and lard and then when you make the mix you use the mix and then milk so that's it's very simple but actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn on the oven uh, to 375 degrees and then I'm gonna start making the sausage because I want this sausage to cool down uh, before I mix it in with the eggs well and while you're doing that too Normally, you guys, you'd be seeing us doing the baking stuff, and she has to make it in several stages. It's well, this, you don't have to, because nope. it's a very fast recipe. Yes. Also, the sausage that we have is from our own pigs. Yes. So it's not, like, if you buy sausage from the store, you're not going to have to do this step of what she's getting ready to show you. You'll just have your sausage like you like from the store, and you'll cook it up, because you got to salt it and put seasoning in it. And Actually, don't do it at all. I don't season it in any way. See there, blah, 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 <laughs> blah, what do I know? Right, because there's already salt in the Bisquick mix, um, and there's flavor, you know, throughout, so it's, no I don't. No pepper flakes? I don't. It, you know what, it's funny, because they taste a tad spicy. I don't add any of that. So You can put whatever sausage you want in there. Right, you can. You can use, you don't even have to use pork sausage. You can use turkey sausage. You can use 
whatever kind of meat you want. Actually, you can use bacon for this or ground turkey, ground chicken, whatever your family or prefers. Or no meat at all. Or no meat at all, exactly. So. So, now, yes, Mike DeFazio, cheesy, pleasy, yes. Very uh, Debbie, cheesy. Debbie's asking, like the southern biscuit mix. Yes, that's N kind of the, the bisquick. No. It's similar. N very, not... Not really, because in the in the Southern Biscuit mix, it has baking powder and baking soda. That's a huge and difference. And milk. And milk. Well, that this one has milk too, but this just has. You're right. That is a humongous difference. Actually, is you punk? It is not. <laughs> okay, so I'm so gonna go ahead and, and I'm gonna make the I'm gonna cook up this sausage here. And I'm gonna try to switch to the close cam and and see if I can figure out what's wrong with it. Yeah. So the sound is probably gonna go out here for a second until just if I can bear figure with it us. Out. I got it. Yeah, I got it. All right, cool. So you can have close cam, but oh man, you're shaking it. It's like Godzilla's in the house. I'll be gentle. Yeah. Here, I'll go back to this camera, and then, then you can now you can pound yeah. away. <laughs> pound away. Oops, you're not. You, I'm shaking that one too, aren't no, I? No, you didn't center. You didn't center your stuff, so now you're like out of oh, the shot. Oh, I can scoot over. All righty. That's a little better. Now I have to move that camera. <laughs> well, I just point it differently. That's, that's yeah. all. Oh, you got to just pull it over a little bit. Look Ooh. out. It's Earthquake City. That's good. There you go, Mama. Okay. Excellent. My goodness. I didn't realize I had to be the chef and the cameraman at the same time. We're tethered. We can't go anywhere. <laughs> we can't. <laughs> We've got wires running all over the place. Right. So all I'm going to do is brown up the sausage. And did you tell them how much you make? You're made? This is one pound of sausage. Um, the You can use bacon. Um, you can use a little bit more bacon. Um, but, you know, we raise our own pigs for meat. And we I found that I have a lot more sausage than I do bacon. So I'm trying to save the bacon for... Um, like BLTs and well, our bacon, be breakfast. Our and bacon is also exceptional. It's very good. It is, uh, you know, there's a very few things that mama can be accused of hoarding, and it would be, bacon would be one of them. Yeah, it is. I, I love bacon, and I don't really want to share with anybody. <laughs> yeah, and so the sausage gets used a lot more than the yeah. bacon just because it's the, the people that that we get it processed by mm -hmm. it's exceptional it's yes. like a nice thick cut mm -hmm. and just the right amount of spices and right it's just really good it is seasoned really really well all right marcy says i have a question do you always in then in parentheses or quotes or no there's parentheses not just while cooking bread leave your pizza stone in the oven i find it cumbersome to move it in and out um, I do not, um, you, I don't, I used to leave it in all the time, um, but I found that it, I had a couple break on me. Um, you know, the bigger they are, the harder they are to move and you can leave it in there. It's not going to hurt anything, but I've had a couple break on me. So I do take them out. I have the small, not small, they're the 15 or 16 or 17 inch pampered chef ones. Um, I have two of those and they're actually pretty light. But, um, you know, I do take them out because I want to clean them off after I've used them for pizza. And, um, well, and they get... I, I find, I mean, we, we cook a lot with cast iron. Yes. That's our, it's our go-to mm -hmm. unless there's a reason for something like yeah. a pizza. You wouldn't, I mean, you could cook a pizza in a cast iron, but oh, the pizza stone good. is much better. Uh, and I find that you don't really wash the pizza stone. You kind of just get the schmutz off of it. Yeah, you just wash it off or just it, rinse it off. It will end up having its own kind of pizza-y flavor, if that makes any sense. It makes the crust do something different than if it was like super cleaned and washed all the time. I mean, you obviously you want to clean it, but look, yeah, there you go, perfect. It seasons it. Exactly. They, they come uh, lighter than this. This is the back, um, but then they become seasoned and it really helps it does the same thing as cast iron 
and it just seals in the you know yeah. seals in the flavor. So bacon cam or sausage cam. There we go. Fred says hi. Hi. <laughs> okay, now what temp what temperature do you turn the oven on? To 375 degrees. I do not know what the Celsius is. Sorry. That's a quick Google That's, search. Yeah, that is a quick quick Google search. And this is almost done. And actually, take a look at this, guys. Uh, I'm going to go to the close cam. But the amount of fat that's on this sausage is very, very little. Yeah. Um, you just flip it towards them, yeah. See? There's there's very little fat in here, or grease. And that's what see, you're going to get when you off, process your own piggies. Yeah, because you can you can determine what, you know, how much uh, fat they get. Or, how do I say that? You can determine what they eat so that you can calculate how much fat you're going to get. Oh, yeah, and also you can, when you... When you go to the butcher or the processing facility, you can say, I want X amount of fat in it or right. not. It's, it's completely up to you. But I'll tell you what we found is uh, when we process our, our cows, the ground beef is the best ground beef mm -hmm. we've ever had. It's, yeah. it, but what's weird about it is usually when you cut the fat, you usually cut the flavor. Mm -hmm. That is not the case with this. No. We have, it's like only like 5% fat, but it is super, it's super, super delicious. Good. Okay, this is done, and I'm going to take this off of the burner because I want it to cool down. And then I'm actually gonna move the burner out of the way. Okay, you need because, me to do something? Nope, I'm gonna use my hot pads. Kelly Owen, do you add grease to make sausage gravy? We have yes. lean pigs, yes, yes, absolutely. When we're doing the, the sausage beef, or the sa sausage gravy and, and biscuits, yeah, we have to put in butter. We use I put butter. It, I put in a whole stick of butter. Because it's the, the, the sausage is so dang lean. Yep, mm -hmm. absolutely. Okay, I'm going to put this down here. Careful, Mama, so you don't yep. forget it's there and put your foot on it or something. Yep. Okay, so what's next? Now we're going to go ahead and make, we're going to make the biscuit mix. All right. While that's cooling. Because you don't want to add a hot meat to a cold... Raw gloopy. egg, and it can you can make scrambled eggs. So I let that sit for a few minutes. So what are what are all the tools of the trade you got here? Okay, for the biscuit mix, I need a bowl, and one of these pastry cutters. You can then, use a fork. You can use a fork. You can use your hands. I just like this because I, I don't really like grease all over my hands. I'm kind of weird. Now we're gonna go ahead and start with our flour. We need three cups of flour. And again, flour. there is not a lot of ingredients to this and this is going to take no time at all to put together this is the the bisquick knockoff mix this is the bisquick oh that one's heated up we need a half a teaspoon of salt okay and a tablespoon and a half of baking powder i do have baking powder in my hand yes <laughs> i always want to make sure no it's cayenne pepper no you give Donna Terry a heart attack again. Yeah. <laughs> so a tablespoon and a half of that. Okay. Now I'm going to whisk that together just to incorporate the baking powder and the salt and just kind of loosen up any chunks of flour there might be. It's kind of whiskey business, Mo. It's a whiskey business? Whiskey business. Okay, now this gadget is probably my favorite and we've talked about it before. It's the, the Wonder Cup measuring, adjustable measuring cup. It has, can you go to the close-up camera quick? I can quick? go to the close-up camera on your market set. Here we go. Okay, it has tablespoons, it has ounces, it has cups all the way around. And what is that? Milliliters, pints, Look at that. That it has so many different measurements, okay? So what you do is you go to the measurement that you are looking for. So I need a half a cup of lard. So I'm going to push this yellow thing down to a half a cup. And then I'm going to take my lard and use a knife and I'm going to put lard in there to where it's compact or packed in there. That gizmo is great when you're messing with stuff like peanut butter, honey. Oh my gosh, yes. Oil, it gets all of it out. It's awesome. That way you've got your exact measurement yeah. and you're not getting wasting. all gross and well, making a mess. And, and you're not wasting if it if you've got honey in here. Yeah, you can put oil in here before you put your honey in here. 
but this way it's just it's all out. It's a little trick of the trade. A little trick of the little trade. Trick of the trade. Yeah. Learn it back. Learn back in boot Nam. camp, you know. Back in Nam. <laughs> oh. And I keep the lard in the refrigerator after I've um, opened it. We can it and it preserves on the shelf really nicely. Um, but once I open it, I do keep it in the refrigerator so it doesn't go rancid. Yeah, take a look at this lard, guys. I'll grab it when you're done. Go ahead. But take a look at this lard. It is milky white. Oops. And that is exactly what you're wanting. Uh, and, and if you've ever wondered, you know, is it hard to make lard, to render lard? Mm -hmm. Absolutely not. And when you use this kind of stuff with biscuits, it is it makes the lightest, fluffiest biscuits, mm -hmm. like pie crusts. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's my perfect gosh. perfect for pie crusts. We only add a little butter in anymore now just because of the flavor of the butter. Mm -hmm. But yeah. this is really like the secret weapon. Yeah, this stuff is awesome. And it didn't cost us anything yep. because we raised it ourselves. Those were from our pigs. And they would normally just throw that away. Right. So they froze it. We got it in big bags. Mm -hmm. And all you do is render it down real slow. Real slow. If you go high heat, then it's going it. to it's gonna smoke and it's going to smell like bacon. But if you go low and slow, it perfect low and slow that is the tempo <laughs> okay so now we've got our half a cup of lard in this wonder cup and now watch this done Susie there is a link in the description yes uh, the video description where you can get one of these gizmos yes this is like your second one isn't this it? is my second one my first one uh, either got broken or lost probably in lost a probably lost a lot yeah but I found this at a yard sale which I was really happy about now, I'm going to go ahead and take my um, pastry cutter, knife, whatever these Coochie things are. Yeah. It's and technical. I'm just going to cut this into the flour. What you need, baby? This knife. Okay. Because when it's cold, it gets stuck in the blades. Gotcha. So. And you're just going to work this in there until it's, you know, like when you're making a pie crust where it's, they say it's the size of peas. You know, where it's just nice and crumbly and the, and the, it's worked into the flour nicely. Yeah. Hey, by the way, what do you guys think of the uh, audio and video quality? Uh, we, we, we're doing something different with that camera out there. And we're doing something different with, with this audio. Does it, does it look good? I mean, I know I'm in the shot, so that you're going to have to ignore that part of it. <laughs> But um, does does Mama look good? Let's let's ask it that way. And of course she looks good all the time. But I'm saying right. quality of the video. Not when I wake up in the morning. Oh, you look like a peach to me all the time. Oh, brother. Pampered Chef has that gizmo. Says yes, Tracy. that's where I had gotten it originally. North Star Prep Stetter. Could you do all that mixing in the food processor? You can. Um, it's just these are a lot. Excuse me. These are a lot easier to wash than my food processor. True. Good point. Okay. Much better, says Jesus is Lord. Thank you. Awesome. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put all of this mix inside um, a mason jar. And that way then um, I will just use as much as I need. And I forgot my canning funnel. Wild and wonderful. That's cool. It's brilliant. I forgot my canning funnel. Oh, you would, is it right here? I can grab no, it. No, it's not. It's in the pantry. What did you do with the canning it's funnel? It's in the pantry. Okay. It's fine. I'll, I'll make this okay, work. Cool. All right. <laughs> You're making a mess. It's okay. I'm going to scoop it in there anyway. It's really not a big deal. Here, I'll just do it. Just no, put it it's in fine. my hands. <laughs> it's fine. I'll do it. No, it's fine. Give it to me. Stop. I'll take care of it. All right. Farmhouse Homestead in Florida. Audio is much better than last week. Thank you. Yeah, we've been working on it. And um, I mean, I'm a tech guy. And there are solutions that you can get to make all this look like super professional, mm -hmm. but they're very expensive, like very expensive. Uh, and so I've been trying to piece it together where it's affordable items. Right. And so right now we don't have a ton of money invested. And I think this is about as good as we're going to get it um, without yeah. jumping into something that we can't afford. So we're not going to do that. Right. So, okay. Now what I'm going to do... Here's what we're I'm ready. Do. We're ready to. We've got our biscuit bisquick mix made. Now we're ready to make our muffins. And I'm going to go ahead and take six eggs, and I'm going to crack them into another bowl because we have farm fresh eggs, and you never know what you're going to get on the inside. One. Let's 
you. So, and is there any questions while I'm Southern cracking Prairie eggs? Southern Prairie has made your biscuit recipe. Love it. Awesome. Yeah, it's one of my, it's my favorite one. Sound is great. Picture is smaller and doesn't fit the frame. That's interesting. See, what I'm seeing, it does, but um, I'll have to check into that. Oh, well, look at mine. See how mine is? Oh, that's weird. The black is on the sides. Oh, that was a big honking egg. That's got two yolks. Egg. Look at that. It's a double yoker. Look at that. There's a question. Do you count them as one? I count them as one. Count them as one. <laughs> when have I got? One, two, three, four, five. Okay. I'll do a so small one. how many one. eggs do you need? Six. Six. Yeah, I don't know if you said or not. I, can... I thought I did. I don't know. All right. Six eggs. Done. North Star Prepstetter. What mics are we using? Um, these are actually professional mics that I got many, 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 many mm -hmm. years ago. Um, they were actually being thrown away by a TV station because oh, it was a. Um, they use them for. They call them ENG, electronic news gathering. They would, you know, they would go out and mic these guys up with um, for interviews and stuff. Mm -hmm. And they had moved on, but their Audio Technica. And um, I don't remember the actual, uh, let's see. It's this guy here, Audio-Technica. And oh, there is no, <laughs> there's no model number on them. Yeah, no, it's just a, it's an Audio-Technica. Audio-Technica, cool. All right. All right. Now before I add cheese and then the biscuit mix in there, I go ahead and I whisk the eggs, pretty light and fluffy. Um, just because it's going to be harder to mix or whisk the eggs when you get the cheese and stuff inside. So now we go ahead and add our cheese and our sausage. Okay, cool. So, Honeybee Acres. I use Rode Lav mics. Yeah, I love Rode products, and we have many mm -hmm. Rode microphones. I'm, I'm a big fan. The last few albums I've used, I've used their NT or it's either NT1 or NKT1. Um, but excellent sounding microphones, and if you guys know anything about professional recording studio microphones, you, it's really hard to get a good microphone under, you know, 2000 bucks. Mm -hmm. Well, they kind of came in and changed the game, and they make high quality stuff, and it's not going to break the bank. Awesome. Okay, so the recipe calls for three quarters of a cup of cheddar cheese and three quarter cup of mozzarella cheese. And my hands are not small and they're not humongous, so my hands hold about three quarters of a cup to a cup. So I've got it measured out right here. Hey, Grampy Campy's here. Hi, oh, Grampy Campy. And then there's just a tiny bit left in the bag, so I'm going to use it. <laughs> I, I will be honest, I never measure. Um, unless it's something, you know, important, but I generally go by taste and feel. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. And then we need our, oh, there's something else. I add a half a cup of milk. Okay. It just helps to make them just really light, a little bit lighter and fluffier. So a half cup? Half cup milk. Okay. Oops. I spilled. I'm going to cry over spilled milk. North Star Prep Center. If you're asking about the Rode mics, you can get them. You can get them anywhere. They sell them at music stores like Guitar Center or um, Sweetwater. Amazon sells them too. Just be careful on Amazon because I found that sometimes their prices fluctuate differently from music stores. All right, so now you're putting the. Uh, I'm putting the sausage in there, and it's still warm, but not melt your face off hot. And I'm just going to go ahead and whisk. whisk I'm sorry, mix this together, not whisk it. And then I'm going to add the uh, biscuit mix here in just a second. So you're just really kind of trying to just get it incorporated? Just incorporate it all. Okay. Of course, Lisa's probably yelling at me, saying, you're doing it all wrong. Yeah. <laughs> and then I'm going to add one cup of our biscuit mix that we made. That's Close. all? Yeah, one cup, I know. Huh. I would have thought it would have been much more. Mm -mm. And then I'll go ahead and I'll store this in the freezer um, so that that lard doesn't go rancid. And give this a good mix. And it's going to be a runny mix because of the eggs, but those eggs as they cook will um, solid up. Mm. 
And that's all there is to it. I mean, that's how easy it was. This is this is one of those things where if you've got, you know, access to a lot of eggs, like we have chickens, mm -hmm. and when they make, you know, when the girls are really going hard and laying lots of eggs, yep. this is great for us to cook, and then you can freeze them, put them mm -hmm. in, you know, Ziploc bags, and that way it only takes like 30 seconds or, to, or a minute to warm them up from frozen. Yep. And... Um, it's easy. The kids love it. It's like when we make waffles. If you make waffles, we make a bunch of waffles because you freeze them. Waffles, pancakes, um, breakfast burritos, you know, any of those kind of things. These are great for on the go, you know, because these are, these are easy to just, you grab a few and you can go. It's, and then if you want, you can put it between an Egg McMuffin. Okay. Not an Egg McMuffin, an English muffin. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now what I did was is I went ahead and I greased these uh, muffin tins. You're not going to use paper with these because um, it won't. I, well, actually, I don't know. I've never used paper with these, but since it's such it would, a liquidy thing, I would. Yeah, I think it would stick. I think it would stick, and it would it would be kind of difficult to use. So I have. Um, I think this is a one ounce. Um, Maybe it's a tablespoon. Ice cream scooper. scoop. Yeah, it's about a tablespoon. That would make sense. Yeah. Um, and I put one out, one scoop in each thing, and then I go through and I distribute to make it nice and even. Okay. Deadhead is asking. I missed what you said about the cheese. Is that dehydrated cheese or regular? It is regular. Regular cheese. You I know. Can, I sorry. know that you guys know that we sell Thrive Life free, freeze dried cheese, and you can you can use that. You absolutely can. Mm -hmm. It's just um, that. We didn't. This is what we have. This is what we had in the refrigerator. And let me go to the close. Show what you're doing there, baby. There we go. It's funny. I'm looking at some of the comments, and who is it that says Noah's Ark, 1962? We had a deer in our subdivision today. Funny. That's weird. We had four wolves, a bear, and no, uh, we did not. <laughs> no, in ours. <laughs> no. But that is not. It's not uncommon. Yeah, no, it is not uncommon. Yeah, they they hunt bear all around here. They bear, they hunt bear, coyote, up here all the time. Yep. Yep. So I'm gonna go ahead and through do one scoop, again, and this will make 24 muffins, or biscuits, muffins. I'm not exactly sure what the. I, I like biscuits. Biscuits, okay, that'll work. Because muffin implies sweet in my oh, mind. Okay. And that's probably that's just in probably, Brad's mind. That could be it. I don't know. Because a biscuit, you can have a sweet biscuit, I guess, and you can have a savory biscuit. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of people in here from the UK. They Their version of a biscuit is different than our version of yes, a biscuit. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. For those of you in the UK, how would you describe the word biscuit? What would it be? Probably so a... Type it on up. Cracker. Yeah, I think, I think. so. Yeah. I think so. I think it's a cracker. Well, here's that closed can. Look at that. And I'm now, taking you a half. don't want them to go to the top either. No, and they, they won't get much bigger than they are. They're not going to rise a ton. But it does rise some. It does rise some, yeah. Okay. So I'm just kind of distributing this here a little bit just so that they're kind of even. So that way they, eat, they bake evenly. Uh, Steve. This looks like some seriously tasty comfort food. You have the nail on the mm -hmm. head, brother? Yes, it is. Yep. Okay. And I guess if you're doing, you know, like a keto thing, you could leave the biscuit mix out. It wouldn't be the same, but you could. Because the meat and cheese and the eggs is, is all That's in the keto the, diet. Well, yeah, actually, yeah, you could, I yeah, guess. Yeah. Why not? Bruno. Lasagna, lasagna, lasagna. Actually, it, we're having lasagna today for dinner. <laughs> right, right. What are you, Garfield? Lasagna, lasagna, lasagna. Beach. Lasagna, lasagna, lasagna. Oh, funny. A biscuit in England is similar to what you call cookies. Somebody, oh, somebody yeah. sent us a care package from England that had the most awesome cookies in it. What were they called? The um, hobnob. Yes, those were delicious. Really good. They're like yeah. these circles, and they're kind of crispy, it was a and they wheat. had a little bit of chocolate on there. Uh -huh. Yeah, really good. The kids really liked them. I like them too. Well, because it's got chocolate, you know. Okay, cool. So, all right, I think we're good. Vern says he likes the devotion videos. Thank oh, you, I'm Vern. glad. You are an encouragement to me, truthfully, and I'm very grateful. So, thank you. Okay, right. we're done. That's, now you just bake it. Now we just bake it. 
for 20 minutes. 20 to 25 minutes, depending on your oven. It's never taken more than 20 minutes in ours. So now we gotta go to Q&A time for the next little bit. Okay. All right, so you do that. Uh, Carol says, yes, hobnobs are biscuits. There you go, Grampy Camby. Those are so good. I live keto yummy. Here we go. <laughs> awesome. So here we go, guys. Let's let's talk a little bit. What can we what can we chat about? We got just a few minutes. Twenty minutes. Twenty minutes, and then you will see that. I mean, honestly, it probably takes more time to get all the stuff out mm -hmm. and then cleaned up right. than to actually cook it. Right. I can make another batch because I was planning on making another batch anyway. That's that's, <laughs> that's completely up to you. I mean, if you if we're really having lasagna, I need to get cooking it as soon as we're yes, done. Yes, you do. I when I okay, he makes lasagna. I make the lasagna. Mm -hmm. There's a there's a few things that she just always makes in the kitchen, and there's mm -hmm. a few things that I just it's it's my job. Mm -hmm. The mess, that's his job. Okay, here, here comes folks. Here's the truth. Ready for the truth bomb? She makes bad lasagna. It's bad. She's she's one of those people that's like you know what we should just throw every vegetable that we have in the refrigerator into the lasagna. I'm like, whoa, <laughs> that's not lasagna. When we were younger, I wanted us to eat healthier, so yeah. I made veggie lasagna instead of meat lasagna. He didn't like that I had put shredded squash and zucchini in there. That's not lasagna. Yes, it's food. Fine. True food. For example, okay, um, when we lived in Cincinnati, mm -hmm. the, the, the restaurant, the pizza that everybody wanted to have was? Flying pizza. Nope. The popular chain. Oh, um... You can do that. I can't even remember it now. La Rosa's. La Rosa's. It's yeah. a local chain, but there's mm -hmm. loads of them. They're everywhere. Mm -hmm. And the sauce is like super sweet. Mm -hmm. And it just was not... And but everybody know. grew up there loving it. And yeah. so the way the way that I put it was, you know, um, La Rosa's is... It, it is technically food, but it is certainly not pizza. It's utility food. Utility food. Mm -hmm. Thinking of others, Brad, you still have your family's cookbook for sale. Yes, yes. we do. There's a link down in the video description. Mm -hmm. And um, and yeah, so if you wanna you wanna grab one of those, we're actually starting to work on a lot of you guys have called us out and you've said, Hey, you're showing us all these recipes, but they're not in your cookbook. Well, yeah, some of them are not. So the this is the first one that we've done on the Thursday afternoon that thing hasn't that been hasn't bread. been, yeah. That hasn't yeah. been in the cookbook. Yeah, okay. Um, a, ve <laughs> a vegan would have liked that lasagna. Oh, no. Yeah. No, a vegan wouldn't have liked the lasagna because there's too much cheese on it. <laughs> Honeybee Acres, the only thing to eat in Cincinnati or Cincy is the chili. Now, that's a funny See, thing, that's too. that's another okay? thing. We lived in Florida for most of our youth until mm -hmm. our late, well, mid-30s. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. And... Um, there was this weird restaurant chain that showed up. Mm -hmm. and it was called Skyline Chili. Yeah. And we're like, what is this? Oh, there's the skyline of Cincinnati. This is going to be it's awesome. Gonna be this is going to be awesome. We're going to go there and we're going to try it out. And that place did not even make it six months. Mm -mm. It was, this was Bradenton, Florida, okay? Mm -hmm. And people would go in there and they did not know how to process. No. They were like, wait a minute, I want a hot dog. That's not a hot dog because That's, they were conies. Right. No, so they're folks small. Didn't get it. They're small, and then they've got this mountain of like super fluffy cheese, which is awesome. Oh well, yeah, but then it also had chili and onions and mustard on it. Yeah, but then you'd get. But their what? kind of chili, their version of chili, is, is not chili. Um, everyone's version of chili. They even have like cinnamon in it. There's chocolate in the chili, and it's just it's a different flavor. Yeah. That the way that I describe it to people is, don't think of it as chili. Mm -hmm. Don't think of it as spaghetti. Right. It's just skyline. If you can go, all right, because they give you a plate or a bowl of, noodles. or a plate of spaghetti noodles, mm -hmm. and then they put this chili on it there, and then you can put beans and cheese and all the stuff. They just, you know, and it comes out super fast because everything's just like plop, plop, plop. Everything's plop. already pre made in, in warmers, and they just throw it on the plate and bring it out to you. But if you can, don't, if you're used to like Texas style chili, don't think it's chili because if you just so go different. in there and go, you know what, this is Skyline, mm -hmm. then you'll enjoy it. Yeah. Yeah. Brad, could you play and Are sing you? for us? Brenda, I'm still on the I'm still on the mend. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that means you're going to have BFH's cookbook part duo. 
Yes, yeah. we're, we're working on it. As a matter mm -hmm. of fact, we are going to, we're basically, okay, here's a little secret inside scoop of the channel. We're trying to raise some money to um, get some stuff done around yeah. the homestead. Mm -hmm. And so we're gonna, we're gonna put together like 25-ish recipes for a smaller amount of money. Right. Just the ones that everybody said, hey, you didn't put this in the cookbook, I really wanted this one. So we're going to uh, we're going to have that out pretty soon. Yeah. Pretty soon. Yep. All right. I second that, Brenda. Come on, Brad. Let's hear you sing and play guitar. Well, I okay. I might. I'm. I would try. You know. What? I'll tell you what. Next Thursday, unless I am stricken with illness, I will make sure there's a guitar here. Okay. And if I forget, which is likely, mm -hmm. I'm sure you'll rem oh, remember. Oh yeah. No kidding. Remind me. Right. Because we're we're actually. Tethered. There's We're, wires. Yeah, I got a wire over here. Joe Gordon Ramsay just fired someone for no apparent reason. That's a big shock. Yeah. Is he hiring? I oh, wanna, thanks. I would never want to work no. anywhere near that man. No, no way. No yeah, okay. way. Hey, farm alarm. Hey, farm alarm. How's it going? Bradenton's down the road. Where you at, Stephanie? We we lived in Stephanie we lived in LaBeouf. Bradenton for over twenty years. Yeah, and so. then we lived in Spring Hill. Uh -huh. We lived in Y Mama, uh -huh. which I'm convinced is the Indian term for dumb white guy. <laughs> like, you, you guys live in Y Mama. No, really. Oh, no, you do, goodness. don't you? All right, next Thursday. Let's see. So, how's your family really doing? We all care. At least I do. Grampy Campy, thank, thank you. you. Um, I will let you answer, and then I'll answer too. If Okay. How's the family um, doing? All the kids are healthy. Um, Claire is doing her thing. She um, really is wanting to get off to college. She's anxious. She's anxious to be an adult on her own. And you know how teenagers get. She's she's still a very nice kid, very sweet kid, you know, pretty respectful um, for the most part, you know, just she's got her mindset on being an adult and not here. So, and that's normal. Um, the kids are, like I said, the kids are healthy. They're doing good. They're thriving. They're, they love being here, um, doing good in school. Um, well, Jonathan's getting ready to enter the management team at Walmart. True. That's true. Yeah. I forgot about he's that. A, yeah. yeah. And David, he he's in the military mm -hmm. and they're in New York. And he was sending us pictures yesterday or the day before because mm -hmm. they're out doing maneuvers. And yeah, stuff. he was out in the field, yeah. And they're out in the snow, and he was just really irritated because they got stopped by a train that literally takes two hours to get Well, through. it was, the train was stopped. Right. Yeah, so um, they're waiting, and they said they had to wait for several hours, so he's mm -hmm. sitting in the truck, you know, and doing nothing. So, and, and more on the family, it's, it's hard, it's a hard time of the year mm -hmm. because you really want to be done with winter, mm -hmm. and there's still going to be three more months. Right. And so if you're doing much, you try not to do it outside. Right. So you have to be creative about what we do inside. Um, but. Yeah. Yeah. So there's a lot of that. And I, I'm really anxious to get out and work on the bus. Yeah. If you guys don't know, we're working on a bus mm -hmm. to uh, come out and meet some of you guys. Right. Do the, the whole self-reliant roadshow thing and come visit some of you guys. Mm -hmm. Right now, the plan is that in the fall... We're going to head south. We're going to go visit my dad. Mm -hmm. He'll be like the furthest south, which he's in Bradenton still. Mm -hmm. And um, so we're going to make our way down there and hopefully stop some places, do some meet and greets. Mm -hmm. And um, and and maybe we can come and visit you guys. So yeah. if you're on the way, we're going to be doing that. I think it'll be just before November. Yeah. So working yeah. on the bus, trying to get that done. Right. We got, you know, we got to put the pieces back into play. I mean, we... We already went through and picked out the things that we want to put back in the bus, and they are in place. They need to be cleaned and then screwed into place. That's mm -hmm. it. And then um, the kitchen and the bathroom will need to be built. Mm -hmm. The uh, bed frame for our bed needs to be built. Um, but we have the refrigerator already. Um, we will need to get a stove. Um, one thing at a time. And that's that's the thing. It's going to be one thing at a time, just one step at a time. It's not a big deal. Um, and then we'll be able to... 
That's the goal. Go down the road. Um, Tanya is asking, how long do the biscuits cook? 20 to 25 minutes. Um, in our oven, they take about 20 minutes. And actually, I like to switch them um, one side to the other just so that they're even baking, you know, not because some ovens can heat unevenly and, mm -hmm. and heat weird. Even though this is a pretty brand new um, oven, it's still, you know, still funky. So and we're, we're learning. Yeah. Learning. Because isn't that, the, isn't that the truth, though, that every oven seems to have its own personality? Yeah, no kidding. Here okay, you can you see. Okay, swap them out. They're yeah. not ready yet. Not, oh, I just squished that one. Okay, Let's you want to go what to they the look close like cam? So far? Here. Close cam. Here we go. They're That's not done they, yet, yep, but they're getting almost. there. Almost. I just lost five Oh, minutes there was somebody time. that says they, they're in Lakeland, Florida. I grew up in Lakeland, Florida. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. As a matter of fact, I've got very fond memories of Lakeland, Florida. I went to Scott Scott Lake Scotland, Elementary. Scott. Scott Lake Elementary. Oh, yeah. We lived in a subdivision called um, Christina. Yep. There. Mm-hmm. And that was, yeah, it was, really, it was a really good time. Yeah. Back then... It was the coolest thing because I know Lakeland is like way built up now, like way, way built up. Oh, it's up. so different than but we were kids. But where we lived, um, the subdivision we lived in, uh, it had a lot of the uh, phosphate mining mm -hmm. land that was untouched, unmessed with behind mm -hmm. it. Yeah. And so I'm like a 12-year-old out there <laughs> with me and my buddy Deke. Yeah. And we would, we would go out there and, I mean, there was thousands of acres of just lakes and woods and we'd build stuff and <laughs> forts and and uh, we were just it was great funny stephanie her husband's from lakeland yeah uh somebody asked if jonathan's still a firefighter yes yep uh he's not an emt yet working on it he's working on it he's going to school for that so okay putting in my phone calendar brad playing the guitar next thursday <laughs> well and steve is he he knows um he knew you are my son mm. and um funny yeah it's that's a good song you know that's what the funny favorite. thing about that song guys and, and if you don't know i was in this band called scarecrow and tin men it was mm -hmm. a christian rock band and our main goal was to communicate the gospel to people yeah. that was it we used music we used being crazy and looking like weird people so that kids would listen yeah and um oh thank you thank vernon. you vernon appreciate that uh but that song like when when we got a record deal I did not realize that, that the people that we were going to be under, the producers of the record, they were big time people. Mm -hmm. The guy the guy that produced our record, he sang for Kansas forever mm -hmm. and ever and ever. Yeah. Uh, and and they didn't want that song. They We had such a uh, good foundation of, of ministry with that song called You Are My Son. And it was the core of what we were doing. It was the core of what we were doing. Mm -hmm. And they were like, nope, that song's not, no, no way, not going to have it. We need to pick something else or write something new. And we're like, no, no. the song's going to be on the, the record. Right. You don't understand. We don't care if any other song gets cut. That one stays. Yeah. They pushed back and pushed back and to the point where we had to just fight and say, you want us not to record because we're going to have the song on the record. Yeah. And to this day, that is the song that I think has been used by God more times than anything to make people just understand how personal God is and wants to be in mm -hmm. your life. And, yeah. and, and it's not some distant thing. And so it's funny the things that you, that you work through and, and what you have to go through, but we had to insist. I mean, it came down to the wire where it's like, no, we're just not going to do it. Mm -hmm. It's going to be on the record. Yeah. So Kansas was an underappreciated band. They are really good. Yeah. They are really good. Lisa says you're killing me. Oh. They're breakfast muffins. <laughs> uh, Garvin Gardens, do you still take moringa? And if so, how has that worked for you? And do you recommend it? I'm gonna. Can I reach? Can I reach? Uh, here. Hold on. Here. Uh, yeah, you can. Here. Oh, that bottle's empty. I just finished my bottle today, and yes, we. There's up there on I the know. top on the second shelf. There's. I know. More. I know. I know. Oh, okay. Yes, is the answer. Uh, we we, I used to have. Well, I guess I still do uh, have rheumatoid, rheumatoid arthritis, arthritis yeah. and it got so bad. I, I was on a $2,500 a month shot mm -hmm. for years. Mm -hmm. And then when the Obamacare thing happened, they canceled my insurance. Yeah. And they're like, nope, no more good drugs for you. <laughs> and so some friends of mine said, have you tried this stuff out? You've never heard of it. Because they were missionaries and they said, mm -hmm. this stuff is healing people like crazy, like of blindness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In all these third world countries. Saving folks from starvation. 
crazy. Yeah. And so I was like, well, what do I got to lose? I'll try it. Right. Within within days, I, I to this day, I can. There's no issue anymore. Right. He could not put his T-shirt on without resting his arms on top of a dresser to get it up yeah. over his head. It was that much um, agony for him. Just yesterday, we got a letter in the mail that won. This, this, some, we get, okay, guys. Oh, yeah. Because of being on YouTube, mm -hmm. you know, people see what we're doing and then they try it out. I kid you not that it is not, we do not go a single week without at least five people or ten people that have said, this has changed my life. Right. There's so many people that say I was bedridden. Mm -hmm. I couldn't even be with my grandkids. Now we're out walking, you know, walking in the neighborhood and playing, and and it's completely yeah. changed. This lady yesterday, it was kind of embarrassing to be honest, because she was being extremely grateful. Mm -hmm. She basically started out by like, "You saved my life." Yeah. And I'm like, "Oh, that's pressure. I don't want to." I, have. I know. I know. It's no. It's we just conveyed a message. <laughs> that's all. But she basically said, "I was bedridden." Mm -hmm. Now I'm up. I'm doing stuff. I'm having life again. Yeah. I can and move so my hands and I'm, fingers and yeah. We're not doctors. Mm -mm. We don't give medical advice. We're only telling you what we have seen mm -hmm. and what has happened in our own lives. Yeah. So my response to you is I would not be without Moringa, mm -mm. period. And someday you watch. We're going to have a hot house growing house here and I'll grow it. Mm -hmm. uh, because you, it has to have extremely hot temperature. There's right. no way you'd be able to grow it in Wisconsin without a hot house. Yeah, right. Someone's asking, what is Moringa? You're going to have to watch the videos or else this will <laughs> consume the entire thing because I'm passionate about it. Yeah. Moringa, here's the very, very short, short, short version. Moringa oleifera is a plant that um, has extremely massive health benefits. Mm -hmm. More vitamin C than oranges, more potassium than bananas, more iron than spinach, and it just goes on and on and on and, and on. And it has every single amino acid your body requires. Yeah, and there, there are very few mm -hmm. foods that have that. Right. So every amino acid, mm -hmm. and it's got insane anti-inflammatory uh, properties. properties. Mm -hmm. And so, well, I, I, I no, Brad, think we're cooking today. We've got several videos on Moringa. Yeah, go just ahead, go to, up. open another window, uh, just type in Moringa, M-O-R-I-N-G-A. Yep. And, uh, did I spell it? Yeah, I just spelled yep. it right. Okay, type it in. We have a video that came out um, about a year ago, a little over a year ago, and it comes up like third or fourth video. You'll see us. Yeah, you'll see us, goofy, pe go goofy people. <laughs> But um, you, there was a question, how much do you take? And he takes four, four, do you see this, four? Four of the size zero capsules. Um, I put them together here, um, which equals about a teaspoon. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I would say, you know, uh, Debbie's asking, does it help diabetes? I have no idea. I don't. I apologize, yeah, I don't. I, don't. I did the research on, on arthritis just because that was my ailment. Mm -hmm. But what I can tell you is that Moringa is what they consider a superfood. Yeah. In that it's got, it's just packed with so much stuff. And I take it in the capsules. Mama is so kind and she puts the powder in the capsules. We buy the powder mm -hmm. because it's the most effective, yeah. it's the freshest, mm -hmm. and it's cheap. Yeah. It's like less than 20 bucks and, and, I, and I get it for a whole month and a half. Oh, longer than that. I, with one canister of Moringa, this is how we used to buy it. Um, they have been out of stock. Um, I just bought it in a one pound bag just recently. But out of one canister, and this is seven ounces, I can make over 500 capsules. We do have links to this stuff. It's yeah. in the video description, guys. Right. I'm not fast enough w without a mouse. This, this stupid computer, it's got one of them keypads and I mess it up. He doesn't like it. He doesn't like it. Yeah. I need to have a mouse. Yeah. So, anyway, almost there. These are done. Yeah. It says another minute, but these are done. Are they? Yeah. Golden brown. I don't know. What do you think? I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. Oh, you could leave those in. Ah. You could leave them in. Let them have the extra minute. Another minute. Okay. Um, these are yummy. The kids are probably smelling it and driving, going yeah. crazy, because they love them. They as soon as they come out of the oven, they come and attack. Uh, Alyssa, do you get your moringa from Africa? 
we get ours, um, there's links down below. Uh, but the real key is, I think ours comes from India. It has to be grown where it's super hot. I know that they grow it in Africa. This is this is from the Himalayas in Midwestern, or Northwestern India. Yeah. Yeah. It needs to be warm where it, where yeah. it grows, which is funny that they were growing in the Himalayas. I mean, that, I don't understand, but. I don't know. It's in the foothills, not the. Not yeah, the, I was going to say. It's, it's in the foothills, not the high mountains. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yep. So. Um, but I, our my father in law, he grew it in, in his Florida. backyard in Florida, yep. and it did great. I mean, he would have to cut it back, and he would cut it, and he would plant that new thing, and he just kept doing it. He had tons of plants. Yeah, and if you guys live where it's warm, don't buy the stuff. Grow it. Exactly. That's That's going to be the most pure. And here's the right. thing: like, if you if you are considering getting some. And you get it, and it's not a vibrant neon green. Mm -hmm. If it looks brownish, it's dead. Yeah. Don't don't use it. It needs to be here. I'll put the close cam on to show. It needs to be a nice, vibrant, bright green. So Otherwise, they this is my measuring it spoon. <laughs> dried out and sat too long. Yeah, yeah. This is this is the one we use for Grace. Grace takes it every day. I take this a taste a a heaping teaspoon of this. And mix it with some thick yogurt, and because it seems to um, mix with the milk a ton easier. If I mix it with the yogurt, it helps to get it wet, and then I can mix it in with the milk, and that is just—it's a great food for her. Yeah, and for those of you who might not know, our daughter Grace, she eats through a D tube, mm -hmm. so she can't she can't chew or swallow anything. So the only thing she can put in her mouth is water, right? Because she aspirates it and then gets pneumonia. Right. And so it's bad all the way around. So right. we have to, to make her foods liquid so that it can go through. So here we go. Ready? Yes. All righty, baby. Ready, ready, ready. Ready, ready, ready. Ooh. Looky there. Boom. Let's move that out of the way. Oh, my gosh, those smell good. Okay, let's <laughs> go for the close. Ooh, dun, dun, dun. Yeah, these are yummy. You want, you North, want one? North Star Prep Stetter. I have the same package. I'm, I'm, I'm going to guess that's with the Moringa. Yeah. You know, the funny thing about that, guys, is about a month and a half ago, sometimes when you do YouTube videos, you can put a video out and it'll just sit there and you'll like get a few views here and mm -hmm. there. And then sometimes people will mention it. Like somebody famous will mention something about it. Yeah. And all of a sudden you'll be like a year later... And it's like, whoa, that video has 100,000 views on it right. in the last week. Yeah, it was crazy how that happened. And it was like that. Mm -hmm. But the people that we normally get them from is the OMG brand. Right. They ran out mm -hmm. like one week into this massive run. And so mm -hmm. we had to find, we quickly had to find another brand that we liked, right. which we do. Uh, but we had to call them and say, look. You just missed out on over 1,500 orders because yeah. you guys didn't have enough stuff there. Yeah, so it's, yeah, that was kind of sad because I really like these containers. Um, it's the cardboard, it keeps it completely in the dark. You know, there's no, it's, it, you know, even I know a foil bag would do that, but this is really too easy to get into. A foil bag, you're, it's, it's kind of hard to get into. So when we got our foil bag, um, I went ahead and put scooped some into here because it this is a whole lot easier to utilize. Rhoda on the on the moringa. I've been on moringa for two weeks now. Pain caused from disc imploding into spine seven years ago. My daily pain level was on a one to ten. Would it be least twenty five? Today probably a three. Oh praise, praise the Lord. Praise God. That's and amazing. that's that's the kind of stuff we hear all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I can't. I'm just, that's why, look at it, I'm getting goosebumps because awesome. we love we love the fact mm -hmm. that it's it's cheap yeah. it's, it's and it works for yeah. so many people. It might not work for you, you know, obviously not a doctor, not medical advice. No, it's, it's just doctor, what works for us. But it works. Right. I need a fork. You need a fork. I do. Looks like a cricket box. <laughs> oh, funny, yeah. Let's see. All right, time to show off the biscuits, Mama. Yeah. All right, and I, I, like I said, I grease these tins before um, we put the muffins in, but they, they pop out really easily. Yeah, look at there. There you go. There you go, babe. Oh, we'll show them the close before okay. we, we decimate it. Get right. it on there. Oh, yeah, look at that. So, here, cut this open. See how nice and light and fluffy that is? 
and, and cheesy, yeah, yummy. Well, and, and if we weren't jacking our jaws, that might have taken 15 minutes, maybe. Well, yeah, I mean, it, it didn't, it doesn't take that long. I mean, you make, and, and you can make the biscuit mix way ahead of time. Keep it in the fridge. Um, and keep it, well, I keep it in the freezer. That's um, a good idea, yeah. Because then the, the, the lard stays nice and cold and... Um, well, it stays frozen. Ha ha. You need a fork. Sorry, yeah. Tyler. You're going to have to get go. one out of your own drawer. Well, why don't you just guys ahead, come on over for lunch? Yeah. Well, no, it's 3 o'clock. It's almost dinner. Yeah, well, um, our folks in Great Britain, what time is it for them? It's probably got to be evening. Yeah, it's like 8 o'clock. Looky there. So, mm. and I didn't add any extra salt. And it's salty enough, isn't it? Mm hmm That is true. Yeah. There, I mean, there's salt in the cheese. Mm hmm And I did put some salt in here. So there's not a lot of salt in here, not a lot of, I mean, it, it's really a good, healthy recipe. I like it. Mm. Do, Do they, they freeze well? Yes. <laughs> I would imagine they would freeze well. If in they our last. house, they never last that long. Well, so. and the thing is this, just make sure you let them cool down before you stick them in the bag. Right. They need to be nice and cool. Yeah. Or else you're going to get those ice crystals. Yeah. Yeah. Just, I... I want, what I usually do is I take these out on the cooling rack. The kids take them as they want them. And then whatever's left when everybody's done, then I stick them in the fridge because the next day they're gone. Carol so. Curley is in England and she says it's 9 p.m. Oh, okay. So it's six hours ahead. Wow. Okay. I was close. I, I knew it was five hours. I thought it was five hours. Well, you got to take a taste now, baby. All right. All right. All right. What do you think? 202 in Alberta. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. 10 p.m. in the Netherlands. So Isn't good. this cool, guys, that you can be literally in communication instantly mm -hmm. with anybody around the world for yeah. just a minimal amount of computer and an internet connection? Yeah. That's unbelievable to me. Technology. Boy, Was Inger that? gets up early then. She must. Because when she's watching our live stream, it's if it's seven hours ahead, mm -hmm. it's like yeah. eight in the morning, right? Yeah. Inger, you want to come over for dinner? You're welcome anytime. Anytime. I totally did your funny math thing. Oh. <laughs> I didn't get it. So if we're doing our live stream on Sunday nights at 7 plus 7 hours, that's... 1,400 hours. Right. <laughs> well, that was a gag I used to do, too, mm -hmm. when I was playing in bands, because mm -hmm. kids will come yep. up and they want to talk to you and be like, because you're the guitar player, right? And uh, they'll ask you a question. They're all nervous. They're like, you know, oh, this guy, he's, he's a rock star, whatever. And they, they, so nine times out of ten, the question was, how long have you been playing guitar? And I said, well, you know, I'm, I'm, you know I, I started playing when I was 11 years old, and, and now I'm 24, so that's what was six years or something like that. And, and I'd like, give them the oh, wrong yeah. answer. I would pick a wrong answer every right. time. And they go, wow, yeah, that's, that's awesome, cool. man. No one, no one ever, ever corrected me. No, no. Um, North Star Prep said it. Oh, no, wait. Who said it? Somebody despises the taste of cheese. Oh, Baker Mom. Baker Mom? That's like despising air. Well, here. no. And actually... <laughs> um, you could still make them without it. It doesn't... You don't... There isn't a huge taste of cheese in here. Yes, there is. Okay, whatever. I don't think so. I apologize, baby. But you are incorrect, sir. You are incorrect, sir. <laughs> I'm not a sir. Just look at that. It's oozing oh, with cheese. And Inger is watching. <laughs> and that's something. Usually she comments. <laughs> yeah. Funny. Took me years to like cheese. Well, then I mm. think it would actually be illegal for you to live in Wisconsin. So Wisconsin's out. She lives in Canada, so it's okay. I know Phoebe does. I <laughs> I'm just it's a simple fact. Yeah. Oh my goodness. So these are yummy. All right, guys. Well that's that's it for the day. Go home. Mm -hmm. You. Well, you're already probably home. Mm -hmm. Most of you. Mm -hmm. Make some cheesy biscuits that have sausage in them mm -hmm. or bacon. The kids are going to come and devour these and then not want to eat dinner. I haven't made the lasagna yet. We can have breakfast for dinner. I like lasagna, though. Okay, we're having lasagna. I don't know. We'll talk about it later. <laughs> okay, that's it for the day. I'm Brad. I'm Krista. You guys have an awesome and amazing day. Yeah. Let me see.